going on, guys? It's your man, Big Veg, your rock and rock team, an ambassador. Rock one radio, rock one press. We are your number one networking tool for the media. And I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm here at the PlayStation Theater. And who, look, look who I ran into. I ran into Miss Universal. Christina. Christine? Christina. Christina, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. So, so let's get right to it. I mean, first of all, congratulations on your new crowning. I know it's been four days since that. So congratulations. Ow. <laughs> so, so um, obviously this isn't your first crowning. You've been, you know, you've been, a, you've been crowned a couple of times. So let's talk about your history real quick. Okay. Well, I was Ms. U.S. Universal 2016. I did not get the opportunity to compete internationally during that title year. So I was given the opportunity to compete this year as Ms. North America at the International Pageant in Richmond, England. And you won. And I won. So I'm Ms. Universal. Wow. So, so, so I guess give me the, um, the deal as far as, I guess, the, um, the whole thing of how this works, you being Ms. Universal. Like, is there certain rules, rules and regulations you got to, I guess, go by? Like, like, how does this go? Well, we had to compete. We competed in interview, evening gown, fitness wear, and on stage question. Mm. Uh, so what I do throughout my year is I promote my platform, which is healthy, helping everyone achieve a lifestyle to a healthy you, as well as Lifeline Humanitarian Organization that supports Serbian orphans in Serbia, and the pageant's motto of Dare, Dream, Believe. That's important. <laughs> Miss Universal in the house. Um, so, so I guess when's the next time that you be, I guess, putting your crown on, I guess, uh, to compete for? To compete? I don't think I can go any higher at this point because it's an international title, which I competed against the ladies from all over the world. So this was a fantastic opportunity. I mean, once once you pretty much get the gold medal, you can't go. You can't go lower than that. Right, right, right. No, I just want to make sure because some people don't know about this stuff, and you know, you want you want to be detailed. Right. Um, what are, I guess what I guess what are the what what are your future goals for the rest of 2017? My goals are to get out into the community as much as possible and give back. One thing that is personal for me and my platforms is I'm planning to go to a mission trip to, to Serbia to work with some of those orphanages through the Lifeline Humanitarian Organization and really just put out a positive message because there's so much negativity going on that, you know, a beauty pageant isn't a bad thing. You know, our pageant is prided proud of, prides ourselves on community service so giving back to my community is super important to me and really just encouraging uh, young girls young adults and and really everyone to just be active somehow and give back be active and, and go out and be active and give back you know what I'm saying um, Miss Universal where can people follow you as far as your Instagram your Twitter websites and all that you can check me out on Facebook it's Ms. Universal and Instagram is Ms. Universal 2017 underscore Christina. That's what it is. And the last thing, last shout outs, last, um, last words for the people. Have fun, live every day to the fullest, and see you later. Miss Universal is kind of cool, right? I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm getting these opportunities. I'm just going with it. Shout out my man Ming of Ming Photography. My man behind the camera doing the damn thing. It's your man Big Veg, your rock and roll to me and ambassador, man. I got more for y'all, man. We here in New York Fashion Week, PlayStation Theater. What up, boy?